okay now let's find the thermal conductivity so thermal conductivity was expressed as kappa and this can be estimated to be one third v squared tau cv and the correct specific heat is smaller than the classical gas by druder it's a factor epsilon f over k b t lower than the druder's estimate where we can write v f squared equals twice epsilon f over the mass that this comes from the expression of kinetic energy where uh, fermi energy is the electronic kinetic energy only we are considering free electrons and this is the fermi velocity so this is just the expression for kinetic energy nothing else so fermi energy here is given using the fermi velocity this way and now let's consider the thermo power Drude again overestimate the th estimated the thermo power and Fermi Dirac distribution considering Fermi Dirac distribution applicable on electron uh, electrons improves this one as well from the expression of specific heat we can write the thermo power expression for the thermo power as minus pi squared over 6 k b over e k b t over epsilon f this becomes the expression for thermal power which is of the order of minus 1.42 times k b t over epsilon f this we retain like this into 10 power minus 4 volt per Kelvin which is smaller than the Judas estimate how about the other properties other properties like DC and AC conductivity these quantities remain almost unchanged because the Maxwell Boltzmann statistics and Fermi Dirac statistics doesn't really make a real difference in these two except if we consider that the relaxation time depends on energy if the relaxation time depends on energy then the energy distribution function is different in Fermi Dirac and Maxwell Boltzmann distributions then that will change and if we consider relaxation time depends on energy then even the Drude expression that we obtained that will change significantly at different temperature it will have different conductivity AC and DC conductivity and those conductivities will differ in Drude and Sommerfeld model but if we don't consider temperature that is energy dependence of the uh, relaxation time then those kind of differences don't come in and we have found out the magneto resistance the hall coefficient these are the quantities that remain unaltered in drude and sommerfeld model as long as we are not considering any temperature dependence or energy dependence of the relaxation time well we have learned the free electron model the transport elementary transport properties for free electrons considering the collision between electrons and the nuclei 
and otherwise the electron uh, they move under the influence of the external electric field. So, what are the things that we could estimate correctly? Actually nothing, none of the things that we estimated are to be accurate are, are correct. But we still value these theories because from these we obtain some physical insight into the process exactly what is happening. We made certain drastic approximations, we know where the approximations fail, what are the reasons for the approximations to fail and we treat it in a semi-classical way where we consider the quantum part of the indistingu indistinguishable particle statistics but everything else is almost classical. In this kind of a scenario, we obtain, we uh, generate certain insight into the problem. Otherwise, if we consider quantum state, if we try to write down or calculate the quantum state of the electrons, it's certainly very difficult. Imagine that you can do that accurately. Even in that kind of a situation, the physical insight that you obtain from that kind of a quantum approach is very little. It's very difficult to understand exactly what the wave function or the quantum state means. You can uh, find out the properties, but the physical understanding would be missing. So, the main contribution of these models is providing us with the physical understanding of the process. And of course, there are shortcomings of these models. The shortcomings are that we don't really estimate the Hall conductivity, Hall coefficient properly, Hall coefficient um, can be des described better, magneto resistance can be described better. The temperature dependence of conductivity which we know that with increasing temperature conductivity decreases that is not captured uh, in a linear way that is not captured within this uh, theory and we also can't explain why some of the materials are conductors, metals, while some are insulators, some are semiconductors, why situation is, why the situation is like that, we can't really understand from these theories. So, these are the major shortcomings of these three theories and in future we will try to develop different theories to improve upon these, but these theories are still quite valuable because of the physical insight that, that it provides.